Good morning everyone. Welcome again to our YouTube channel. Now for today's video, we are going to continue the discussion on clerical errors of the birth certificate. For our sixth episode, we are going to discuss the correction on the clerical error in the birth certificate pertaining to the day, araw, and month, buwan, ng kapanganakan. So, for example, you were uh, born December 12, pero ang nakasulat due to clerical error is December 11 instead of 12. Yan. Why did it come? Also, Instead of December 12, ang nakasulat is November 12. So, ang, ang clerical error doon is yung buwan. No? Which is November ang na-record instead of December. So, yan din. Yan yung topic natin ngayon. Correction of clerical error as to the day, araw, and or month buwan ng kapanganakan. Now, ayon sa batas, Republic Act 101-72, kung may clerical error sa araw or buwan ng iyong kapanganakan, hindi na kailangan pa ng judicial order para ma-correct ito. Pwede na po mag-file ng petition for correction of clerical error in the entry of the birth certificate pertaining to the day or month of the date of birth in the local civil registry office. So that is pwede na municipal civil registry office or city civil registry office. Kung napansin po ninyo, hindi natin na mention yung year or taon ng kapanganakan. Yung na mention ko lang, araw or buwan na clerical error. Bakit? Kasi, kung ang clerical error is yung year or taon ng yung kapanganakan, kailangan po natin dyan ng judicial order. Hindi po applicable dyan yung Republic Act 101-72. Judicial order meaning to say order from the court from the regional trial court. So, mag-file po tayo doon ang petition sa regional trial court. Again ha, yung saklaw lamang ng Republic Act 101-72 is yung clerical error sa araw or buwan ng kapanganakan. So, sana malinaw yan, ha? So, sino po ang pwede mag-file sa petition na ito? Ayon sa batas, kahit sino na may direkta or personal na interest sa pag-correct ng clerical error ng araw o buwan ng kapanganakan. So, of course, yun mismo may-ari ng birth certificate. Kanyang asawa, anak, magulang, grandparent, guardian, or kanyang attorney, in fact, o representative or agent. Yun bang merong special power of attorney. Saan pwede mag-file sa petition? Na-discuss na natin ito doon sa previous na uh, episode, episode 5. No? So, doon ka mag-file sa local civil registry office, be it municipal civil registry office, or city Civil Registry Office kung saan na-record yung birth certificate mo na gusto mo ngayon i-correct dahil may clerical error. Now, kung nakatira ka sa ibang probinsya o ibang lugar, pwede namang doon ka mag-file sa Municipal Civil Registry Office or uh, City Civil Registry Office ng lugar na yon kung saan ka nakatira. Ang tawag dyan, out of town filing of petition. Ano yung mga dokumento 
na kailangan i-attach natin sa petition. Unang-una na dyan, yun mismong birth certificate na merong clerical errors na gusto mo nga i-correct. Number two, mga supporting documents. Voters registration record, employment record, social security record, kagaya ng GSIS or SSS record. Community tax certificate, is school records, yung earliest is school records or diploma, driver's license, clearances such as in BI clearance, police clearance, or clearance from the court. Pwede rin yung baptismal certificate, pwede rin yung marriage certificate, kahit aling lima doon, no? pwede mong gamitin pang-attach sa iyong petition. Pero, mayroong dagdag nito. Kailangan mo rin i-attach yung affidavit of the publisher. Kasi na ito, dapat itong i-publish in a newspaper of general circulation once a week for two consecutive weeks. So yung affidavit ng publisher i-attach mo doon at saka rin yung um, newspaper clippings showing that publication. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsubaybay sa ating legal document series at sa ating YouTube channel in general. Sana po ay meron tayong natutunan sa ating mga legal discussion dito at uh, patuloy niyo pang subaybayan ang aking YouTube channel.